David, that's the unbeaten run in the league to an end, so we can't come back down to earth with a, with a bit of a bump there. Um, yeah, I suppose. Um, we got what we deserved. We didn't deserve to win the game. It wasn't for a lack of effort or trying. Uh, it wasn't because the players weren't trying to work it out, but they just didn't. Um, and they couldn't, which is understandable. Um, they were still trying to do the right things, but they asked this very similar questions numerous times over and how we had the answers. So we've got to understand that being in possession doesn't always necessarily mean being in control because they were quite happy to let us have the ball. So we were very much in a false sense of security and by and large we fell into that trap. Um, but again, that's understandable. The key thing from, from all these games, win, lose or draw, is to make sure that any mistakes we don't repeat. So the challenge for the players is to make sure that whenever we come up against another team that plays on transition and lets us have the ball, we understand that when we're in possession, we've got to make them feel uncomfortable as opposed to on that transition suddenly like we, we felt uncomfortable um, and that's that's the challenge going forward as it always is it, like I say we, we, we'll learn more just as much from the, 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 the game the Harrogate game as we did Newport MK Dons and, and crew in Oxford you mentioned about Harrogate having the answers from from the stance they had a real intense press in, yeah. in that first half yeah I, th- I think they their shape certainly um, which we, we envisaged they would play but at the same time we couldn't work out where to be in order to beat their beat their press, beat their shape um, again I understand the players trying to play through the press but you can't play through a press really you have to play, well you can through, round or over but we kept trying to play through, not round or over and it's like well if you do you know, one of the ways, and then the other way, then you can you might play through again. But we kept asking the same question over and over again. And on one hand, it's highly, highly frustrating. On the other hand, it's sort of admirable um, that the players are trying to play like that because then I know they've listened. And what I mean by that is they they believe that they that's the only way at the minute. And so I've made sure that they understand that it's not the only way. Um, because I don't want to play with any sort of fear of you can play a longer pass. Yes, it's a longer pass. As long as it's not a whack to anywhere or my, miles up in the air, just because that'll do, because that's not good. But if that's a longer pass into a forward player or even in behind that stretches the play to allow us more space in between the lines, then that's fine. So that's the first time that's happened and I, I, can, I can accept that reasoning from, from the players, I can. Um, and really, I suppose that's more my fault than their fault in the sense that um, I probably should have explained that beforehand uh, in this last three weeks. But then we can, we can all, that's easily rectified, really. I guess, David, this is the time when you learn about the players. Yeah, I, that suggests that I haven't learned anything in the last three weeks because we haven't lost. You learn just as much in defeat as you do when you win. No more, no less. It's another ninety minutes, hundred minutes. Um, you know, so so you you you're, le- you're learning all the time. Um, just because we've lost doesn't mean so we'll we'll learn more or less. Um, it, every day is an, an opportunity to improve and an opportunity to learn. And and, and today is no different. Was today an improvement on Newport from last weekend? Um, it depends on which context you mean. Um, at Newport we didn't have as much control as today, so you'd say today is, is more of an improvement on that sense, but we certainly had more moments at Newport, much more moments, to score and create goals, and we were sort of a hair's breadth away from doing that numerous times. Um, today you, you, would, you would say that, although it felt like we were in control, because we had more of the ball, Actually, I'm not sure we were. We were in a, a, a false sense of security because that's how Arrogant wanted us to feel. And we couldn't work out the difference between being in control and actually um, creating them problems, if you like. And I think I don't think we created enough problems for Harrogate because we were being very 
uh, when I say one dimensional, very samey. Um, but then I, I, I'm enthused by that on one hand because I know that they're trying to do the right thing, what they believe to be the right thing. But then if they can justify deci different decisions, more than happy, more than happy. Um, I'm not sure they felt as though they had that freedom, which is again, you know, my fault if you like. But then that's because this is a new relationship, and three weeks in, you're not going to get everything right. You know, when you first meet a partner, you don't know everything about them in three weeks. You just don't. Um, and this is a very similar thing in that sense. Um, so we 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 will learn from that. And, and take that forward and, and the challenge is not to make the same mistake when we come up against a team in two banks of four um, you know and we're af asking us to break them down that's the challenge the challenge will come not not sort of next week at Manchester because that'll be different it'll be next time we come up against a team that plays in a very similar way did anything in particular please you today yeah, there's there's always lots that pleases you. You know, there's there's the individual performances. Um, there were some aspects of the play. For example, we worked on throwings this week. We kept the ball more times from throwings today than we have during the previous five games. We had a shadow of a doubt. I haven't looked at the stats yet, but we had a shadow of a doubt. Well, that's a big thing because there's about sixty or seventy throwings a game in League Two, and if half of them are ours, that means we've retained the ball thirty-five times more than we did last time, or whatever the number is. Well, that's a pleasing stat or pleasing aspect of the game. Probably went unnoticed. I don't understand that. But then when you've worked on it, and it improves. You go, that'll do. So we've got little bits like that that the players have done really well with. But then there's lots of other things that we haven't done yet, that they haven't done, and they haven't worked out. And this is not me. Certainly not throwing players under the ball. This is just where we are. I keep saying it, and you know, I'm I'm pretty certain that fans will be stick to the stomach when I'm still saying it in April because it will be that that's how long this is going to take um, but we'll get there got the goal towards the end yeah. but, um, seems a little bit too little too late yeah look I th the first thing I think we should say is we should have had a penalty yes Danny Rose heads the ball the lad the keeper clatters him it's a penalty all day long anywhere else on the pitch that happens with outfield players it's a foul but then I understand that, that that's not the reason why we didn't get anything from the game. So as much as I can say it was a penalty, we didn't you know we didn't deserve anything from the game. But the intent was greater towards the end of the game, and this is what I'm talking about about um, that sense of false or that false sense of security. There was greater intent from us towards the end of the game. There was. That wasn't because of Harrogate did anything different. That was our mindset and our understanding of what we're trying to do that was better. Now that might go, oh, you took more risks. Well, maybe, but then you can take more risks but still be safer. And actually when we played higher up the pitch, we were better in transition as well. So we were, actually, we were safer, just because the gaps between everything was closer. So there's, all, you know, there's loads of things like that, and we've got to make sure that happens for 90 minutes, not just the last 15 or 10. In a strange way, David, is it, is it, it's not a good thing we've lost, but it's kind of out of the way now, that, that first defeat. Yeah, yeah, you may say that. I'm not sure I agree. I'd much rather play well. It, for me, it's more about performance. You work on things in the week, and then the match is really an extension of how you've what you've tried to work on. Um, and that's not technical things. That's actual game moments, such as throw-ins, but then that's a, a game plan just for that specific game. So there's all different things that go into the week. Um, you hope that the performance reflects that and the performance was like I say it was okay today they were trying to do the right thing but they were trying to do the right thing all you know the same thing because they believe that was the right thing and it's like no you can you can ask them a different question if you want fellas and they'll know that going forward so yes I, I understand what you're saying but at the same time I'd much rather not lose but if it was a toss up between you know, playing horrifically well and winning. That's fine this week, but that can't continue every week. You can't you can't play badly every week and win. You just football doesn't work like that. So the underlying performance has got to be there. The underlying numbers have got to be there. And on one hand, you can say, yeah, we had a we had a goal, but we didn't quite get it right. 
Um, and that's the reason why we, we didn't win the game.